During the American colonial era, lobsters were considered garbage meat and were eaten by indentured servants, prisoners, and poor families that couldn't afford anything else. Even the indigenous tribes that lived near the coast would use lobsters as fertilizer or fish bait rather than consume them. 19th century Kentucky politician John Rowan once said lobster shells about a house are looked upon as signs of poverty and degradation. It was common for people to bury lobster shells in their backyard to prevent their neighbors from seeing them. <laughs> We're so ashamed. In one Massachusetts town, indentured servants even sued their owners because they were feeding them too much lobster. They won the lawsuit and got it in writing that they could only be fed lobster at most three times a week. That was the most time. They're giving me too much lobster here. I need less. <laughs> Lobsters had such a bad reputation because they were extremely plentiful. Early colonists could just walk up to the shoreline and collect them because they would wash up to onto the shore in droves. The lobster also had a reputation for being a bottom feeder that would literally eat anything. It also didn't help that during this time, people ate lobster by grinding it up entirely and eating it as paste or stew. So the thing is so fascinating. Yeah, it's disgusting. But back then, that their lobster were so plentiful, you could just walk down to the Swallow shore it. and just pick them up. They're yeah, just, just washing it off. One. Just, just grab a one. lobster, whatever you want. Yeah. So there's so many of them that they just had no value whatsoever. And it's kind of funny when you think about that as being like bottom feeders or eat everything. That's the same thing about crabs. But crabs are very expensive, obviously. And so in the early 19th century, to give you an example of the difference, in the early 19th century, people paid 53 cents a pound for Boston baked beans, but they paid just 11 cents for a pound of lobster. It was common for lobster to be served to cats because people just didn't want it. So toward the end of the 19th century, and here's how it all changed, right? This I thought was really interesting because this is marketing. Toward the end of the 19th century, the opinion of lobster began to change. As railroads began to expand across America, the railway companies decided to serve lobster because it was cheap, plentiful, and largely unknown to inland passengers who found it delicious and demanded more. It was during this time that lobster meat was also being canned and sold all across the country, which pushed demand even higher. By the 1920s, there were fewer lobsters, but demand continued to increase. And by the 1950s, the lobster had cemented its status as a delicacy and became something that was eaten by movie stars and the wealthy. Now, first of all, crazy what a change there was right but also it just goes to show you like in the early days everyone all the all the towns were along the coastline so people all knew like lobsters a dime a dozen literally at 11 cents 11 cents yeah, <laughs> right? so yeah. it was like no value to this stuff whatsoever but people once there were towns further inland that weren't exposed to it <sighs> They really liked it, and it was like, oh, wait a minute. This is better than garbage. <laughs> we can sell it to these suckers who don't know any better and market it as a delicacy. And then because it takes off so much, there, of course, end up being fewer lobsters as well. And so it all ends up working. And let me tell you something. Do you want to talk about a difference in the way that uh, lobster was back then because of how long they were able to live? Here's an example. I'm bringing up a picture right now. Of a lady holding a lobster. That's a serious lobster. Yeah, I would say it's probably l almost half the size of her. Yes. <laughs> if she set that thing down, it's probably would come up minimally to her waist. Yes. Each claw is the size Look of at her those head. Claws. Yeah. <sighs> the size of her head. Gosh. And here's uh, th there's some people bringing in, you know, like a like a barrel. Lob this is obviously a lot later on, so you can see the size now. Yeah. Versus back then. Uh, insane. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you have those things and you, you I mean, here, here's another, I mean, man. Yeah. It's funny to see how, you know, when you allow something to grow, I mean, <laughs> they're the size of a child. These lobster like, shells. And it looks like the lobster's got boxing gloves on. Right? Yeah. It really does. <laughs> Jeez. 
Yeah. And so, uh, you know, again, for people who are listening to the podcast, if you go on YouTube, you'll be able to see some of the stuff on our YouTube page. You get the horn show. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's like they were, they just been growing for so many years yeah. and years and years and years. That's they it. weren't harvested. They weren't harvested. And then, you know, we start harvesting, but there's so many, they're so plentiful. And then, you know, we start grabbing them younger and younger and younger and younger and smaller and smaller. And then, you know, then those gigantic lobsters like that, man, you don't see that type of stuff very much no. anymore. They're not half the size of a, of a, of an adult at this stage. You're not finding lobster like that. Yeah, and they're grinding it up like the. It seems like it'd be harder to grind it up for paint to make a paste out of it than it would be just to crack the shell and eat it. I know. <laughs> I guess they just didn't have access to good butter back then. I don't yeah, know. That's right. I mean, it's probably it's, a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> all the lobster in the world. It's like the eternal. It's like uh, Dante's Inferno, right? It's like I have all the lobster in the world and no butter. <laughs> it's my own little concentric <laughs> circle of hell. <laughs> all the lobster I can eat and no butter that, with it. That is so funny. I just wonder if, uh, like, I don't know, because we don't ever see lobsters even remotely that size anymore. Like, does the meat just not taste as good back then? Like, I, I don't know. Apparently, people liked it, though. loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's like a lot of things. It's just like, do you have a taste for it or not? And maybe yeah. when it's so available, you're just like, oh, I can't even look at that oh, stuff anymore. Like, yeah. I'm so tired of it. Yeah. I don't know. Pretty crazy. <laughs> but I saw that. I thought that was what a what a difference oh. in the way the world is. That and again, a lot of it. I mean, I, I was only partially joking or being sarcastic, but uh, you know, a lot of it really is marketing. You know, you really did. You 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 had this thing where it's like, okay, we've got tons and tons and tons of these. They're of no value here, but inland they can't get them. So what can we do as far as you know, like finding a way to be able to sell them to people? Well. If people can't get them, then they become pretty interesting. 